Hey guys, just thought I'd give a little update. Uh, we had a new guy come aboard yesterday. Uh, he is a bantamweight, possibly super bantamweight. I have to go back and look at these smaller weight classes. Uh, and amateur wise, I don't know. I am speaking on a professional weight class venue here. I have to go back and look for the amateurs, but kid's 14. Uh, he's a little shorter or about, yeah, a little shorter than Joe. Uh, and he's a smaller guy. Like I said, I believe he's, he's around 115 to 18 pounds. And uh, we worked with him and 10 or 12 minutes uh, had him hitting hard, this kid. Had him hitting hard. So we'll work on that with him. We worked on a little bit of footwork. Uh, of course, Joe went through his spiel. But this kid was able to do about, I don't know, 20% of what, what Joe did in calisthenics so that's good uh you know you got to start somewhere that was very impressive actually it's not good it's excellent and uh they did some sparring i put some gloves on him and uh no headgear for either of them because i told joe do not hit this boy uh i think joe's got 60 55 or 60 pounds on this boy or more. I don't know. I'm going to have to get, get, get the kid uh, on a weight scale. But uh, let this guy tear loose. It's obvious he had a little bit of experience. Um, he could move good. Got him in, got him in a good stance. Uh, uh, working him a little different than with, than with Joe. He's going to be in a more unsquare type stance and go more with a European, uh, basically Russian type uh, style with him. Uh, to this point, because that looks to be what will fit him best, uh, so that's the route we're going to go at this point, but you know, things change. And uh, uh, Joe's going to, Joe, Joe, I really don't know how to, uh, I can't put a specific name on what Joe does because we've got it's a little bit of Sonny Liston, a lot of uh, Mike Tyson type peekaboo style uh, uh, with a lot of Floyd Patterson type of stuff, and, and, and of course those three guys moved in different ways. So that's what we do with Joe. So what we're going to do with this kid is is uh, a lot different because his body makeup is a lot different. But this kid, this kid's fast. I mean, fast. And worked a few rounds. They went, how many rounds did you go? Four or five rounds, Joe? Five. Five. So they went five rounds, about five two-minute, two-and-a-half-minute rounds. Uh, a couple of them were three minutes, and the others were two two-minute rounds. And, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Two three-minute rounds and three two minute rounds and we started out with the two minute rounds and the last two rounds we did they did three minute rounds and i told this kid i said you hit him you hit joe i want to see what you got of course he started a little hesitantly and he worked himself up and i told joe i said love tap him in the midsection and joe did and he was like oh my gosh and he was like he barely 
barely tapped me and I felt it from my head to my toe. I said, this, we're going to build on this kind of strength for you. Uh, um, and of course you won't have the same kind of strength, but for your weight class, by golly, you will. And, uh, great kid, very quiet, quiet kid. Uh, very, very respectful. Uh, tell him something once, he's got it and he's doing it. And uh, he's like, is this right? Is this right? Is this right? Is this right? Uh, and a uh, quick learner, this young fellow. So we're glad to have him aboard. We're, uh, we might have him at 2 o'clock this afternoon if we do. I'm going to show you uh, what I like to do with Joe is, is get a little guy on him and get that little guy to work him. Because not only will it benefit the smaller weight class kid, and of course don't have Joe hitting, hitting back on these guys. He's just bobbing, weaving, uh, uh, slipping and pulling and docking and uh, dodging uh, and moving. And it, it, it helps both types of boxers. It helps the lower weight class guy and it helps the higher weight class guy. And here's really the reason why I started doing this. When I, when I was a kid and was uh, in the gym, uh, I, ne I never saw this. It, uh, maybe I did and, and don't remember. I don't know, but... Uh, Back many, many, many years ago, uh, uh, and I can't remember how old I was. I was getting older. I believe I would be adult by then. Uh, Tommy Hearns, uh, the Motor City Cobra, Tommy the Hitman Hearns would come in and spar with Muhammad Ali. And, of course, Ali was not hit, hit. Maybe Ali would hit him, but he was very ginger and very soft. Uh, and it, wor it gave Ali the work over. And I was like, oh, heck yes. This is exactly what big guys need to do. They need the little guys to get in there, and get these speedy guys doing them the one over. And uh, we're good for us uh, last night. Of course, we've done this plenty of times before, but... It worked really good last night. Uh, it moved Joe. Joe was moving. And to the other guy's credit, how many times did he hit you in the face, Joe? Six. He got you six times. Did he get a body shot in on you? No? Okay. Well, he tagged Joe in the face. or and When you say face, I mean tagged you in the side of the head or something. Because I know, did he hit you square six times in the front of the face? Anyway, it don't make no difference. I'm quit messing with him. He's on his free time right now. He's finished school early. Uh, so uh, that was good, you know. And Joe was counting. It was six. And uh, I should have video. I should have videoed that. Dumb, dumb me. But that kid did real good, really good. And. Uh, pleasure to me a pleasure I told I, uh, I gave my regular spiel I told this boy I said you need to understand one thing with concerns to me I said I'm a mean man I'm, I'm not a nice man I can get vicious and ugly at the drop of a hat uh, I have a zero tolerance policy around everywhere I go. And then I, I finished. I said, can you take that? He said, yeah. I'll do anything you tell me to do, sir. And I told him, I said, now the second part to that is all those things I'll, ne I'll never be to you. You're, you're my friend. And I would treat you accordingly. And if you, if you stick with me, uh, you're going to see benefits with your body, your mind, uh, and everything around you and the way you perceive it. Uh, you're going to start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
than you are today and have what everything you perceive you'll be bigger to to some degree uh, so that was a wonderful thing and uh, so that was all great one funny thing I want, I want to tell you one serious thing in a minute but yeah I'm going to tell you a serious thing now I'm going to tell you the, fun, the damn funniest thing in the world in a second uh I've been very, very critical and hard on the ugly side of Muhammad Ali. And we all have a ugly side. And I don't really take back things that I said. However, I don't know if you can see my eyes here. You see the color of these eyes. This hair that's darkening is some now and all that used to be as blonde as blonde can be. Look at my skin here. See? See what's going on here? I can't see things in a clear perspective of color. See? Uh, so... Everything that I did say, I stick by. But I want to remind you young boxers, keep in mind, Muhammad Ali had some great qualities. Great qualities. Uh, earlier on in his career, amateur, uh, a freshly new minted professional, uh, till he was stripped from the the title, then when he came back, there's one thing about that man, he outworked everybody. He was never in the bars drinking. Uh, if he did anything, he kept it from the public because he didn't want young guys to see him with a cigarette, a cigar, pot, drugs, uh, or booze. So he was good. He just had a lot of good, good with and in him. So I want to clear that up because I can be vicious too, right? And uh, we all got that side to us, but we all got a sweet side to us too. Well, no, we don't. But most normal men, and especially stronger men, more opinionated men, men that stand more quickly uh, or take a stand more quickly uh, they got a they got kind of a vicious side to them a very strong side that can that can come off as ugliness and does to the weaker people more often than not and uh, uh, but everybody's got, got a sweet side uh, not everybody but the, the, the majority of those all those people that are good and decent, they got a good sweet side to them. And he had a good sweet side to him, too. Uh, he was real young. There was a lot of stuff going on in the 1960s and into the early 70s. And uh, uh, time I, I, the political and social things, I care not to really won't want to even remember it was it was some turbulence and a lot of it and a lot of ugly uh, so he he got a little mixed up in my humble opinion maybe a lot mixed up on some certain things but uh, uh, he could be vicious and that's what I point out and I point that those things out because people need to know the kind of more gentle guy that we knew at the end uh, well that wasn't always that guy he could, he could be mean and, and this color barrier thing with him was really a facade although it, it helped people of color in many 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 ways that I can't understand as a white guy so a lot of good positives with him. Uh, 
that he'd be vicious with everybody. He wasn't a respecter of persons, and I like that. That's a good thing. Uh, he basically did this to Don King one day, and that was true. That portion of that movie, that, that was true. He said, hey, you don't dictate nothing up in here. I do. You clear your ass on out the back, Mr. King. And he did. So let's get that straight. So I had some good, good things about it. I hate that it, that he even got hooked up with Don King and worked in with him, but I won't get off that. Well, no, no, the reason why I wanted to get back on that was because I've seen a video, which I've seen many, many, many years ago. I believe it might have been 69 or 70, 71 or 72 in that time frame of Ali and Custy Amato baby. And actually taking their jackets off and doing a little tussling for fun. Uh, uh, so that's what brought this on for me to tell you, young guys, don't when when I there's always a flip side to the coin. It's always a flip side to the coin, and you 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 fellas should understand what that means. If you don't, put me a message down there and I'll, I'll, because some of you may not know what I mean by that expression. If you do, I'll sure uh, explain it. But uh, me and my wife, we had to go down to immigration, so we had to go about 30, 45 minutes away from where we live now because they had messed the paper up that, that I had paid them to do, and it slowed my process up. I don't really have much time left here to get this thing done uh, uh, to renew my residency here in Columbia. But uh, we were on the way back, and I tell you, I can't remember the guy's names, but... <laughs> I used to love them as a little boy because I could go see them at the circus and they'd get on these little mini bikes and they were twins and they'd ride around. Now the unique thing about these twins was both of them weighed upwards of 700 pounds or so, 600 pounds. They were big fat guys. And uh, like I said, that was a treat. When it, when the circus or the carnival was coming around, sometimes those guys would be there and they'd ride these little mini bikes around. Well, I seen a guy when you're coming down the highway, coming back here. And I looked up and I said, damn, this is one of these, it looks just like one of these guys. And my wife's like, look at that as we're going by. And this guy, makes this bigger motorcycle look as small as those mini bikes to those 600 plus pounder twins. He makes the big bike look that small. He, this guy's big. And he's got a sandwich that must have been this big around or some kind of uh, empanada type thing that they have here. And he was going, <sighs> as he had one hand. And I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> I was, and I looked over at my wife and I said he can't even get down the street without eating uh, which was kind of sad really in a way And uh, we need to I don't want to get off on nothing on that it was just a funny story uh, or a funny sight for us this morning wish to goodness my wife's phone is very slow uh one thing I need to do, we just bought one new computer. I need to get two more new new computers uh, and need to get two more new cell phones because I refuse to have a phone because I don't want to be bothered, so I don't. And uh, um, But I need to get a new one for my wife and son. And uh, But... So that phone wouldn't go quick enough to get a, 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 even a photo of that. By the time I, you'd get that up, we were down the road. So 
uh, I was like, oh boy, I wish I would have loved to get a video of that because he was just going, <clears throat> and no kidding, folks, you see how big my head is? That's, that's almost as big as that sandwich was. It was great big giant. <clears throat> And just going right down the road, going real slow now, being cautious. One eye on the road, one eye on that sandwich. And I was waiting for that thing to fall off or come down. And it would have broke my heart had 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 he dropped that sandwich on that motorcycle because Lord knows it would have broke his heart. It, it would have been a bad thing in his day. And I didn't want that to happen. I want everybody to have good days. So. Anyway, that's what we got going on. Might be able to get a little bit of the footage together uh, where I'm letting Joe move and uh, letting this kid work Joe and hit him with everything he's got. Uh, it's the only way you get better. You got to you got to hit somebody, and the, the return of that is you you get hit. Uh, but the, the size difference here, I'm just going to let this kid hit Joe. And uh, Joe's like, yeah, dude, Daddy, I can't hit this guy. But this guy's very fast. And uh, you'll see, we're going to work with him and get him faster. We're already working on his punching power. That happens day one with me. Uh, if, if we can't develop a punch with you, you don't need to be fighting. That's a mandatory piece of equipment that you have to have. And uh, it's beyond me why trainers don't understand that. Uh, your best defense is a excellent punch. And I don't know where that's went out the window to. So. And I ain't going to get started on that either. But maybe we'll see this guy this afternoon if he comes up. He's uh, His mom and dad, I believe, are separate. They're, I don't believe I know they're separated. So he's going to spend the weekend with his dad. Uh, may not have him back Monday. I believe Monday is uh, Father's Day. I, I don't know, or one of those days. Uh, but from Tuesday onward, we should have him every day at uh, 6 o'clock. And we'll work, we're working him into Joe's second workout of the day. So hopefully this will go good. Met another guy. Uh, there are, there's a gym right near here. Joe's got to get the information uh, where a bunch of young amateurs are going. We're going to put Joe in there. Uh, there's an MMA gym uh, where kids and some really, really good adults that uh, they do they, the whole gamut. They, they practice mixed martial arts, but uh, the guy was telling us a lot of them just are down there for the boxing. Uh, but it makes no difference because the MMA guys will uh, spar with you uh, j just boxing. So shouldn't. hopefully we're going to get opened up where we got some boys that can take a little bit of a punch from this kid. And we'll move, uh, move forward with that. And uh, because the deal's still on, if we do full-fledged uh Spar a full-fledged sparring session, we're going to go 110. So what we're going to do, we've been burned too much. So uh, that's how that's going to work. So everybody, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Remember, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the President of Presidents is knocking at that door. Uh, answer it. Answer it. First, make sure it's him. And second, let him in. It'll give you more peace. Uh, won't give you total peace, but it'll give you more peace than you ever thought possible in your life. So thank you so much. Blessings to everyone. And we'll talk to you soon.